Good morning everyone, it's Saturday morning and I'm on my way to go visit a friend um, and I'm just stopping at a local little cafe to get us a couple of drinks. Before I head there, I'm going to go in now, it's called the Workshop Cafe and I'm going to get us a couple of little drinkies. It's now like 20 past 1, like 1.30 and the weather my god, you can tell by my hair, I am a soaked rat. Um, but I went to house, then we went into Sheffield and just went to the store there that's really good, it's called Slater's. I've got about a 40 minute drive in front of me and I'm gonna stop at the op shop in, um, in my town um, and just have a quick look and then go home. But anyway, I'm gonna drive in this pouring rain. It's shitty as weather. you what I just picked up and also a couple of things that is new recently. First things first, it's my birthday in a couple of weeks and I asked Brett to get me an Apple Watch, uh, which he did and he let me have it early. So um, I got it last night and I've been playing around with it and setting it up. So this is the face I have on it at the minute. Still working out how to use it. The other thing, I was influenced by the influencers um, and I Bought some macro mic stuff. So, so I am on a wedge red journey at the minute, um, and I've been wanting to find a protein powder that I actually like. Now, I'm plant based and vegan, so I've got to find vegan ones, and I hate every single one of them. <laughs> so, um, I decided to give macro mic almond protein a go. One, because I can buy this whole sample pack, which has eight sample flavors in it, different flavors for 20 bucks because I got it on sale, and it's not pea protein, and I feel like I might be onto a winner. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try one um, in a little bit. Hopefully I like these, because I really need to get my protein intake up there. I just, I would love to love protein powder, but I just haven't yet. Whenever I buy something online, I always just see what's in the clearance section and you know what I can get for cheap. And this was $10, so it is the, the world's first macro-friendly cookie mix, white chalk chip. So I'm going to make these. Moving right along. Today, like I said, um, we went into a shop called Slater's, which is in Sheffield. Um, and it's such a good shop in the most random spot. Um, but I only picked up one thing, and that is an Adidas t-shirt. Um, this is a kid size 16, and I got it for 25 bucks. What a steal. I got the kid size 16 because obviously... You know, that fits like the smaller um, ladies sizes. So I've got so many black t-shirts, but none of them really go with like my active wear. They're all kind of more jeans orientated. And this will be good just to wear. I will actually wear it to work out. I'll wear it when I'm wearing active wear casually like I am today. Um, and it was $25. I mean, so cheap. And then on the way home, I stopped at the op shop and I picked up two things. I got this RVCA long sleeve for five bucks. Um, and it's just in some white and green tones and it's got like little cuff sleeves. And then I've been on the hunt for ages, just a big black pair of comfy trackies. I was gonna buy some men's ones at Kmart, but they've only had the size small in stock and I want like a XL. Um, so I found these Puma ones for five bucks in the men's section, but I'm pretty confident they're ladies because they're, there's not a lot of room in the crotch area. This is exactly what I was after. Just some big black trackies to roam around the house in that I don't really care about if they get Charlie's hair all over them. That's the best smelling chocolate protein I've ever smelled. Oh, I love it now. I thought they were closed. 
Deluxe Choc. I figured that was the safest option. I'm only using half of it in water just so I can taste it as it's meant to be tasted. I like it. Yeah, it's all over your fucking face. <laughs> you give it a go. Like for a protein powder, that's just pretty smooth. These vegan proteins are usually shit ass. It's your vlog. Here you go. It's your time to shine. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's very awkward in front of the camera. It's my bum oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks. We are just about to go out for dinner. So, doing a fit check, except the mirror is just not very flattering. So, so without the cardigan, this is the vibe. Some jeans, boots, and this top that I've never worn because I bought it in summer, at the end of summer for a sale. And it is a summer top, but it's got like ties and, and shit. So, it's my fit check. It's my time in a while. Yeah. Good morning, it's Sunday morning, it's 9 o'clock and I just got out of bed. Well, it's actually 9.30 and I just got out of bed. I've been awake for ages, but I wanted to stay, stay in, so I did. Um, but Brett has just requested that I make these cookies, so I'm going to do it. It's pretty simple. Whilst the oven is preheating, I'm going to clean up the house a little bit, tidy up the house, because tomorrow I'm going to do a full house clean, but there's just shit everywhere oh look at that sun um and i think a lot of the washing i did yesterday which is over there um should be almost dry so i'm gonna see what i can put away and just do a little bit of a tidy up got dressed sort of this is my Sunday fit check my trackies from yesterday freshly washed they fit exactly how I wanted um, vegan Uggs and my kids added us tea from yesterday anyway um all right I'm gonna start making these cookies hopefully they're good the camera's washing me out Get my hands dirty. This is what they came out looking like. They look so burnt. I took these ones out earlier than it says, just so it was, you know, they're less burnt. Um, I've no idea what they taste like. Brett's just gone to the shop, so I'm gonna wait for him to come home but, and we're gonna taste them together. But I made myself a little coffee to go along with it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Not for you, no protein. They're not like super sweet. Not that right. In my professional opinion, they're like not cookie texture they're like a little bit spongy almost and they're not as sweet as i thought they would be they're not bad by any means um but i reckon i'll try like the donuts or like the brownies or something instead of cookies next time and see what they're like i don't know it's 12 o'clock i'm gonna head out and do some groceries for the week. Let's do a grocery haul. I love watching these. Why not? I got a pack of Pepsi Max. Brett loves Pepsi Max. And I love Coconut Sugar. I actually don't usually buy myself a pack. 
Usually I buy myself just a bottle, like a big bottle or nothing at all, but I've been enjoying having it at work, so I bought a big pack. Now, keep in mind, if you are new or if you don't know, I eat a plant-based diet, Brett does not. So there's a mixture of everything in here, except I'm, I already have most of my like protein sources because I went to the supermarket the other day. Eggs, baby spinach, three bananas, little pack of tomatoes because they were on special. A pack of baby apples, three bags of frozen cauliflower and broccoli, some mushrooms. Brett eats these cauliflower pizza bases once or twice a week, so I got one of those. And I got in some ham to go on that. Chicken for bread and some mints for bread. A tiny loaf of bread. Some dog food. I am obsessed with these Table of Plenty um, dark chocolate rice cakes. Brett is obsessed with Kewpie. Some Singapore wok noodles. A 5 or 1 90 calorie bar thingamajiggies. Two packs of this veggie twist pasta Get myself some rubber gloves for cleaning we have heaps of milk so i have like three different types of milk on the go at the moment so i didn't need any but i just bought brett a skim milk just one because he's got two in the fridge at the moment macona pods these were cheaper than the homebred ones which i usually get i got brett some sugar-free v and then all that's left is some random things so i've been trying to find like low calorie snacks for both of us so these are really good for brett these are really good for me. I usually like the Snackles bar, but they're never on special, I swear. For Brett, I've been getting these little tiny custard pouches. These ones are 72 calories each, um, and he loves custard. So I just usually get a couple packs of those, and they're like 95 cents. And then whilst I was there, I saw these little fruit puree things, which were 65 calories each. So I got um, an apple and strawberry. I got two of those and then just a plain apple for me. That is all the groceries I got. So I am gonna put it all away. My camera kept running out of footage, so I'm just sitting here trying to sort a couple things out. Um, and in the meantime, I have watered my plants. I think you've managed to see a little bit of it. I have decluttered a little portion of my wardrobe, which is my like loungewear. Because I go through my clothes all the time, but I don't really get rid of loungewear, and I really need to, because I feel gross in a lot of it, so why would I keep it? Anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to sit here and continue to clean out some of the files on my computer and my hard drive and things. And then at about three o'clock, um, my family and I are jumping on like a video call and we're going to do a quiz um, that mum and dad get in the paper every weekend. I haven't joined for the last few weekends just because Brett and I have had some stuff on. Um, but I'm going to join this weekend and have a you know, time with them. It's become, it became a family tradition when Tassie was having a, a lockdown. Well, Northwest Tassie really was having a lockdown and COVID first started happening last year. We'd all jump on a, a call and do the quiz and it was the only way we could really all see each other at once. So yeah, it kind of all started in COVID and, and my mum was overseas at that time. So she joined in when she could. And then when she was back in Australia and she was in hotel quarantine, she could join. So it's just been like a f started because of COVID and now it happens every weekend if um, whoever can join joins. Yeah, it's just a fun thing to do. So I'm going to jump on and do that a little bit later and then hopefully, fingers crossed, the weather should be a bit better by then. It keeps going like sunny, rainy, sunny, rainy. So I'm hoping after that it'll be sunny and I'm going to take Charlie on just like a quick little 20 minute walk around the block. Oh my god, I just realized, sorry, it's so dark outside, the lighting is just bizarre. I haven't tried a protein smoothie today yet, so let's quickly do that. I think I want to try... Alright, I'm going to try the berry white choc, because I don't have high hopes for that. 
Oh my god, did I get that? I just measured out 250 mils with my eyes. I don't like the smell of that at all. Oh, it smells better after it's been mixed. I'm gonna predict that it's gonna taste like yogurt. Big coal, big coal. I really like that. What? That's delicious. Let's go get Brett's opinion. Righty, this is the berry, berry white chocolate cheesecake one. Yeah, this one quite nice. <laughs> that one quite nice. <laughs> I was expecting to hate it, but. No, it's good. Yeah. What is the name of the wife of the puppet? <laughs> Ah. The puppet what? Yeah, what? Yeah. Uh, the puppet show, punch ants. Oh, punch and Judy, yeah. Nope, never heard of it. Does ginger come from a pot, a bean, a root, or a leaf? A root. A root. I'm going to come back from my walk. I have to wear this thing over my ears because my ears get so, so painful in the cold. And it's snowing currently in the middle of Tassie, so that means it is freezing in the air here anyway my phone died just before I left so I, I couldn't even I couldn't take my phone which I which I've now learnt means I can't listen to music so I need to download some songs I think on here or like a playlist or something I'm still trying to figure out how to use my Apple watch properly so everyone's gonna, probably gonna be watching this cringing but I really need to take this off Whew. she is toasty it's like it's just, what time is it? It's 4.30 now, so I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for the weekend. I actually have tomorrow off, but I'm planning on doing a bunch of filming, so vlogging it would be kind of counterproductive and pointless. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Oh, I haven't taken the harness off the dog yet. She hates it. I should do that. Um... Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Beck Eldrip, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.